cleaning products can be very bad for your budget and fumes for the air. So if you're looking for some more frugal ways and cleaner ways to clean, stay tuned. We're gonna look at some baking soda hacks. Some you may have heard of, some you may have not. I'm here to show you how you can make your home spick and span without breaking your back, your budget, or the clock. Stay tuned and come clean with me, Jessica C. And right here, all you do is get a bowl of lukewarm to cool water. You don't want it to be hot because it'll mess the apples up. But you just put one teaspoon of baking soda in, kind of let the apples sit for a minute or two, and then scrub with a little brush, and it actually comes really clean. I was actually very surprised. You can even feel the, the texture of it is different even. This works great. Here's one. Have you tried to smell the fumes of the oven cleaners? That stuff is the worst. And who doesn't like to clean the oven anyway? I like to clean. I know that's very rare. Very rare. I like to clean, but I hate cleaning the oven. Hate it. <laughs> but here's your trick. If you're off on Saturday, try to do the oven on Friday night. What you'll do is you'll sprinkle some baking soda, avoid the tin full. We've all heard news about how vinegar and baking soda work together. It's just like a chemical reaction that just kills dirt and grime. No different to use for the oven. So what you'll do is you'll use a fourth cup of warm water and then you'll get a third, fourth cup of baking soda. You'll mix it together, kind of make like a paste. Add in a touch of vinegar and then you'll clear it all over your oven, like on the insides, just kind of wipe it all over the place. Don't use aluminum. Some people may want to because it kind of scrubs. Don't do that. There's no need in it. <laughs> you let it sit overnight, and the next day you take a scrubber brush or a rag, and then you scrub the inside. All right, toilet cleaner. Who doesn't love a clean toilet? Well, we all love a clean toilet. We just don't like cleaning it ourselves. <laughs> but have you seen some of that toilet cleaner? That stuff is filled with fumes and chemicals. Plus, they can be very costly. And with COVID, ever since that started, it's really hard to find cleaning products. I mean, it took me eight months to find Clorox wipes. Yeah, that was fun. All right, so what you'll do is you'll sprinkle baking soda around the inside of your toilet bowl. Don't go too crazy, no more than like a cup in there, but no less than about a fourth of a cup. Sprinkle it in there, let it sit for about 30 minutes. Then you'll go back Add some vinegar to it let it kind of dissolve with the baking soda and work its magic because you know baking soda and vinegar match made in heaven then you'll use your toilet brush just like you normally would do rinse it away it actually really works I tried it but I'm the kind of person I'm a cleaning channel but I'm not going to show you anything about cleaning my toilet my toilets are clean don't get me wrong I'm very OCD and a neat freak trust me but I don't even want to see somebody cleaning their toilet. <laughs> Sorry. But it really does work. And even vinegar, this is mainly a baking soda video, but vinegar is cheap too. You can get these huge things for $3 and it's like a 20 gallon tub. So it's definitely worth the few extra, you know, the few extra dollars to get the vinegar with the baking soda. And right here, baking soda is in a deodorizer, like with shoes and even carpet. And so all you do is sprinkle it on there, let it sit for about an hour, and then vacuum up. It's supposed to absorb the odors and make your room smell clean. And this next one, I have never tried because I'm very big on Dawn dish soap. My little cleaner helper, he always makes his appearances. <laughs> I'm very big on Dawn dish soap, so I'm kind of wary about using anything else. So let me know below in the comments if you use this and it really works. But they say just add a few teaspoons to your warm dish water that you're, when you're doing the dishes and it actually will help kind of loosen up the grime and the buildup on some of those dishes. So if that works, let me know below. You can also eliminate fish stink. If you sprinkle some baking soda on your fish before you cook it, you can rinse it off before you cook it and then sprinkle it with any spices you want to. But if you sprinkle it on the fish, Kind of let it sit for a minute or two and then kind of rinse it off it actually eliminates all that fish smell so when you're coming in the door somebody doesn't smell fish which i don't like fish anyway so 
I'm not trying that one either. So let me know below if you tried that one and that one worked. <laughs> As a shoe deodorizer, you sprinkle it in your shoe. It's not like it's gonna hurt anything. It's just baking soda. You sprinkle it in your shoe. You let it sit overnight or until you put them back on the next day. You can just leave it in there. You don't have to vacuum it out or anything. Just leave it in there. It like absorbs the odors and you're good to go. You don't have to spend over $5 on shoe deodorizer sprays and fumes. Cause again, we're trying to get away from the fumes on this video. We already talked about the oven, but did you know stove type? Stove top? I'm gonna learn how to talk one of these days, guys. I wouldn't bet on it being today, though. <laughs> the stove top. Always, you sprinkle it on the stove top, let it sit, and then kind of spray it with a little vinegar. You don't want to go overboard. This again, as you seen in the sink earlier, it starts that bubbling, you know, like from the old science fair volcano thing. I never did one because it would have been a bad, bad situation. But <laughs> when you did that, it gets all the grime and stuff up and then you just wipe it away. And with vinegar and baking soda, it's very good because it doesn't, it doesn't give you the fumes. They're very cheap. Most, most households already have this stuff in your pantry as it is. So it's not like you're having to spend extra money. And even if you do, you can get a a water bottle and if it's something you use a lot you can actually sprinkle vinegar in this and then keep it on the spray this was only a dollar even at Walmart I think a dollar two dollars you can get these so you can always have it easily on hand as well all right this one was fun I actually had read about this several times but I'd never tried it so all you do is spray baking soda on your cutting board and then half up a lemon and scrub it the lemon did get caked with baking soda, so I had to use both halves for this. Mm -hmm. But you could really tell a difference, and the lemon actually kind of gave that scent, that clean smell as well. So I highly recommend this. All right, to get ready for this next part, I actually did not scrub like I normally do with my sink for actually a week or two because I really wanted to test this out. So some of this is gonna be a little bit embarrassing, but you can see the bubbles and fizzing that's going on. I left it there for a minute or two and then I got one of my scrub brushes and brushed along and you'll have to see this difference. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and actually I have never heard of some of these as I never heard about the fish one which I don't eat fish so maybe that's why I didn't hear about it but if you like this video and others like it leave a comment below like this video and subscribe and until next time bye